call right now. I had to put on, you know, nothing. <laughs> just feels good. Just kind of, you know, makes everything nice. Oh, I could put a little, I'll put a little, um, I forget what this is, highlighter. Hi, welcome. My name is Jenna. This is 1111 with Jenna. Every day, seven days, every night, seven nights, 14 times a week. I am right here or somewhere, but at this time, 1111 Eastern time, no matter where I am. If I'm in Norway, if I'm in Italy, if I'm in Australia, it's going to be hard. If I'm in California, it's even hard because it's 811 in the morning. And when I'm, you know, I'm home in California, I'm like, it's 811. And have you taken your supplements today yet? Have you taken your, do you take any medications? I'm going to remind you of that on a daily basis now. I think it's a good thing to remind. If you take anything, have you taken it yet? Oh, I forgot to take my vitamins. Oh, I forgot to take my, what is it that you take? Whatever it is you do. Just a thought. And I'm going to start talking a little bit more about the business that I've started with my friend Mare. And the Facebook page is up. The website's not up yet, so I'm not going to announce it until, but it's on caretaking. It's the concept is caretaking. And the conversation is 1111 is is always going to be here, but part of the conversation will be going towards caretaking whether it be whoever, yourself, caretaking for yourself, first and foremost, caretaking for a partner, a parent, a brother, a sister, an animal. It's just part of it. And it's, it's really interesting what we are creating. And it is 8.11. Yes, it was. Now it's 8.14. Now I'm going to, I realize I don't always edit the privacy. So now it's public and there are three of you here. And I think I only know, let's see, who's here? Armando, Paula, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Here's my bracelet. Happy birthday, dear Paula. <gasps> Lillian Pearl came in the door to wish Paula, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Ra Morocco. Do, 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 do. Is there enough water in there for you, girlfriend? It is Friday. What happens on Fridays around here? All kinds of stuff. You make sure you have water. You have water? could have just gotten up to give her some water, right? She's, she'll, she's, now that I, I'm bringing it over, she's going to be like, I already drank it all. There's water. Good girl. So, it's Friday. Tonight is display and share. Tomorrow morning, one more Saturday morning with Jeff Metzger. Tomorrow night, one more Saturday night with Gary Lambert. Sunday morning, Alex Martinez. Sunday night. Oh, see you Sunday. I know Sunday, 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 Sunday. Tomorrow I have two gigs with David Lom. One's at 3.30, 30, one's at seven. And then the next day at Patty's, Patty Palooza in Barrington, Illinois, Patty Palooza, 3.30, we'll post. Oh, I don't, I don't want you to have tears, tears of joy, yeah. Yes, tears of joy. Happy birthday, Patty. Paula, I have Patty Palooza on my brain and I've talked to her already today and we're gonna have, we're having a pizza Palooza thanks to the taster and Patty on Sunday. And then Sunday night, I'll be in the car, but it is, it is poetry glam. I hope my next guest considers poetry glam some Sunday. Monday morning, we meander, Monday night, we meditate, Tuesday morning, Tapas, 
one of these days with Patty, Making and Bacon with Patty. Tuesday night, Dr. Andrew Rader, hypnotherapist, acupuncturist to the stars, and all things good. Is all things good. Wednesday morning, we walk. Wednesday night, community right here on 11 11 with Jenna. Every day is community, but it's, it, you know, how they have pint nights. Well, we have um, more like tequila conversation. I don't know, something like that. Don't forget the pineapple for the pizza. Ah! Or the Nutella. And then um, Thursday mornings, Michael Keel has been here, but I think he's going to be in Yosemite, but he might check in Thursday nights, conversations with the creatives. But this Thursday, what's happening this Thursday? Coming this Thursday, lives will be changed forever. 1111 with Jenna presents Corona Rocky International Limited. Bring your best, just stay home. The Lily Pad, broadcasting throughout space and around the world to each and every home. 11 11 with Jenna. This Thursday, Corona Roki International. And then Friday mornings, Fridays, Fridays, Fridays. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what happens on Fridays. Armando Ortega. Shall we do that again? I'm not sure what happened. There he is. Whoop, there he is. Whoop, there he is. What up, what up, what up? Good morning. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi. Top of the morning. Oh, wait, let me, let me reorient myself here. Um, I missed, I missed the, uh, the walk-on music. Yeah. You want to do it again? Okay. Let's, oh, I get, I get it now? Dancing. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Good. So two gigs this weekend. Three. Three? Wait, do you have one today? Two gigs tomorrow. I'll do tomorrow. 3.30 till 5.30-ish. Get in the car go to the next gig and then um it is isn't it armando ortega starring armando ortega <laughs> well well thank you thank you so much and thank then you very much. sunday we drive to patty's patty palooza sunday sunday patty palooza in yeah. where in, in illinois barrington barrington illinois we're gonna turn barrington illinois into a giant mud pit. um <laughs> that's great that's yeah. going to be Patty's, every time you talk, we talk about it. Patty's freaking out. Oh my God. How many people are coming? I'm like, I don't know. It's like, it's going to be like Lollapalooza. It's going to be like, <laughs> but apparently Lollapalooza was not a super spreader. Only about 280 people got COVID that oh, oh, only 280. That's great. Yay. That they've counted. Yeah. Okay. And that have admitted that they're sick. Right. Right. Well, I had yeah. I had it for like two days and then I was fine. Uh, sure. Yeah. Someone said yeah. that to me the other day. They said, "Yeah, I had COVID. I had it for like a day and a half and then I was fine." And then I you went and resumed your life and then got more people sick. Right. Right. No. Or or that's a cold. It's not COVID. 
unless you like have been tested. Speaking of being tested, we got together on Monday with uh, for coffee with a friend, and you know, hung out. We were careful. We took off our masks only to drink coffee, and then you know, put them back on. Find out Wednesday night that this friend tested positive on Tuesday. She started feeling crappy, tested positive on Tuesday. So did you know, she know I, she was sick on Monday? No, didn't know. Felt fine. Started feeling crappy on Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, she said, eh, I better get tested. She got tested, found out she was positive. So we got tested, rapid tested yesterday. Snowy, Snowy already did a test. Snowy had yeah, it. That was it. just, you got exposed to her on Monday. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, I might have waited another day or two. Yeah, but I mean, I talked. She tested often, doesn't she? What's that? Doesn't, doesn't Snowy get tested at work quite often? Yeah, she got tested. Well, she had a hiatus week. This week, this week is their hiatus week. And so they sent her a test, a swab in the mail and she had to um, FedEx it back to them. And she got her results yesterday evening that she's negative. She got emailed results. I did the rapid test. Fortunately, our insurance covers it. So it's, you know, $25 copay, rapid test, and I'm negative and Joaquin had to go because Joaquin was working yesterday. And so he called in wisely because he works at Museum of Natural History and school is just starting Hello, next week. Hello, everybody. Hello. Yes, exactly. Hello. So he wisely called in and, and stayed stayed off work yesterday. And we both went and got rapid tested. And well, what'd you guys do? <laughs> <laughs> goofed off. Went, went to the clinic. We went to the clinic and hung out. But we got in and out burgers afterwards. That was our treat. Had to do it. And then I worked last night. I mean, you know, I, I let my bosses know. I said, hey, look, I, you know, there's a possibility. I need to go get tested. And they're like, get tested. It's cool. You know, let us know. So I let them know right away. Negative. Let's keep going. Oh, Answering my. your question, Paula, I wear, I will be wearing masks the rest of my life. So, yeah. And anywhere I go, I, I always, I have a mask bracelet on me. So. Yeah. I, I, I anticipate that I'm just going to wear masks for the rest of my life, too. Yeah. I mean. I've been yeah. wearing it for 20 years. Big deal. People go, oh my God, I can't breathe with the mask and I can't do this and I can't do that. And I'm like, you get used to it. Not a big deal. Whatever. Yeah. Not a big deal. You get used to it. You know? Yeah. I'd rather be, and you know, we've said it before, but Hey, flu season was another, was nothing this year. It was a nothing burger. So, you know, let's do that. They've now approved a third booster shot for all of the or they're recommending not approved it but they're, re they're recommending it for people with compromised immune systems so and i have another friend of a friend who just i guess it's a little bit of a hypochondriac i mean this person has a compromised immune system they did the they did both rounds of pfizer and then they found a place that would give them moderna so they've done four shots i know i thought that was extreme i thought you don't know, really i mean you know it's kind of a new thing let's just do what they're asking us to do rather than it's not overreach here that's wackadoodle. That's not, I think that's pretty wacky. That is fairly wacky. Although I, I've i read, you know, I've researched. I love this. A friend of mine posted something yesterday about research. Maybe I can find it. But, um, and I don't just read stuff on Facebook. I, you know, I read what the CDC says or whatever. Sure. But my friend Pam, let me see if I can read it. But I like what I have, what I have read. Okay. Wait, this is, this is great. Please stop saying you researched it. You didn't research anything and it's highly probable that you don't even know how to do so. Did mm -hmm. you compile a literature review and write abstracts on each article? Or better yet, did you collect a random sample of sources and perform independent probability statistics on the reported results? No. Did you at least take each article only one by one, look into the source, that would be the author, publisher, and funder, then right. critique the writing for logical fallacies, cognitive distor distortions, and plain inaccuracies. Did you ask yourself why this source might publish these particular results? Did you follow the trail of references and apply the same source of scrutiny to them? No? Then you didn't fucking research anything. You read or watched a video, most likely with little to no objectivity, you came across something in your algorithm manipulated feed, something that jived with your implicit biases and served your confirmation bias and 
subconsciously applied your emotional filters and called it proof. There it is then. <laughs> that, that pretty much says it. That's true. Yeah, because everybody's like, I did, I researched this. It's like, no. I mean, people say they research things when they read like, you know, it, it, I heard a comedian talking about this and it's true. People are like, did you hear about the latest thing that happened with Fauci? Well, no, what happened? Well, he said da 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 da. Oh, when did he say this? Oh, I don't know. I only read the headline. Okay. Well, and, they, and they're taught now. Writers that are and in newspapers are taught. You know, you write it all in the first two paragraphs. Whatever yes. you're going to say in the article is in the first two paragraphs. If if that's not your writing style, you don't get the gig. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's interesting. Joaquin has a subscription to the New Yorker because he's very erudite. And so I read the New Yorker when I can, but it's like, it's a commitment. You have to sit down with those articles and like, take some time and they're, long. they're really long, <laughs> they're really long, but they're great. I mean, they're really yeah. great. They're really well-researched and well-written generally. Yeah, but they're really long. The, the, reading the New Yorker is sort of like, okay, I've got two hours on a Saturday. I'm yeah. going to read a couple of articles and just chill out and, you know so cool so wait this is going to be the set this is going to be the second time you've seen patty in person irl as the kids say second time yes so cool i gotta tell you i mean i always love when i can when i can drop into the show i love dropping into the show but i love it when you and patty are on were you, just, were you here wednesday night with patty and and um melanie no i missed that i was at work I was working. That was fun. Some Sunday night, you just got to break in and do just one poem. I will. What uh, What time does it have? Poetry glam. I know. What time is it on? So what time is your show, Jenna? Your, it's show called 11 11 with Jenna Wins. Uh -huh. Or people what go, time? oh, do, did you do your, your little show at Yoshi's? Yeah, it was sold out two sets, uh, 720 people. What? Oh, well, I'll come to the next one. Because I was I was watching I don't know I, I we were watching Netflix I'm sorry. In this oh time. okay yeah yeah because they're only going to show Mare of Easton once. That's yeah. it. Oh wait you don't like scary movies right? I watched I started to watch Mare of Eastwood. I just think it was just overacted. No I didn't see it I haven't seen any of it. I've been watching we watched a super scary movie the other night just sort of came upon I, it it's because I love scary <laughs> movies. This one was so like, and it wasn't gory. It was just scary. Like I'm listening. I'm gonna go check on my my dog's scary paw. Hold on. Whoa, your dog has a scary paw. Yeah. Scary paw. Anyway, everybody out there in Gentleland, if you like scary movies, a super sort of creepy scary movie is Sinister with Ethan Hawke, and it's kind of supernatural, and uh, I liked it. It was fun. Some jump scares. Yeah, I told everybody about the scary movie. You didn't have to be there. You, 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 you can step away for that. I, I could, oh, Patty loves scary movies. Oh, I just recommended it. She should see it. But it's sort of like... Is it realistic scary? No, it's supernatural. Oh, see, like, I loved... Um, what was the one with, uh, with Will Smith? When... Uh, they when the when the world ended basically and he was one of the only people left no independence day oh no I um, oh i love i love that movie that's a I good love movie. The movie too but then when the when the uh, the weird people when the people came back to life thing the mutant dudes yeah that kind of messed it up for me yeah i sort of like yeah i know what you mean you know what other movie i like that he did well there, there's many movies that i like that he's done um seven pounds enemy of the state Enemy of the State. That's cool. Love that movie. That's great. I don't great. think there's a Will Smith Smith movie that I've not cared for. Yeah, I I didn't see the one with him and Jaden. The Outer Space movie. Yeah. yeah, I didn't see that. Yeah, I, I heard that. that that one wasn't great. Yeah, I won't see um, that. That's kind of like you guys just wanted to make money and work together, kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, kind of. Um, Hancock. I love the I one wonderful. where he was. Um, was it? because I can relate to it because that happened to me when he has a shell he has a shellfish allergy oh I don't know that one and he's allergic he's on a date with this woman and and she's like and he's going uh, I need to uh. I've seen Patty twice one 
yes, the gig and breakfast the next day and Sunday will be three. Thank you, mama. Three, okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, three times. Wait, you have a shellfish allergy? I have a wheat allergy. I'm oh, I, a, need that. I have a histamine, like serious like a, wheat allergy. Like, but diff, is it different from it's different from celiac? Yes, it's a, okay. I'm I'm allergic to wheat. Wow. Yeah, I have a histamine reaction to wheat, where it does what. If you ever see that Will Smith movie, mm -hmm. I can't remember what it's called. I think he's got a, a dog. Anyway, Hitch. Hitch? Hitch? Yeah. Fletch, I've never seen that one. That's the one with Kevin James is in that one, I think. Okay. And he, yeah, and he breaks out and, and I know I, his exactly, his, the way he broke out though was symmetrical. Mine didn't always do that. I'd have like, I'd look like Angelina Jolie, like this much of me. Oh, wow. And then, yeah, Mama Grace has a shellfish allergy. Thank goodness I don't. I would just be. That'd be tough. That'd be hard. Myself. Yeah, I, I, I know it's funny. I don't have a. I don't have a. I, I'm mildly lactose intolerant, but it's like, I'll eat cheese. I'll eat yogurt. It's more milk. If I drink milk, that's mm -hmm. you know, and ice cream a bit. I don't. Mm -hmm. I've been eating that much ice cream lately. I've just been like, eh, I don't really want. To. I've been Plus, yo I've also, yo yo what? Yo nana ing. Your nana. It's an extract. You put fruit, frozen fruit, through the extractor, and then it comes out like ice cream. Mm. Oh, no, that's great! Wow. It's hey, a special machine. Just the taster not to put sausage on the second pizza, please. Maybe red peppers and artichoke hearts, or just that red sounds peppers. yummy. Or just cheese. Or anchovies. Or anchovies. I could bring. Oh, no, thank you. I've got my own anchovies. <clears throat> I'll bring my own <laughs> mushrooms. Yes, we uh we we get sides of anchovies because Snowy doesn't like them. So Joaquin and I will get sides of anchovies, and you know. Papa, Papa Ben and I used to do the anchovy thing. Yeah, I love I love anchovies. Sometimes they're really good. Yeah, ancho. I've um I think I mentioned this to you before. I, I don't know what I mentioned. The first restaurant that Paul and Monique had was called Firefly Bistro, and I worked there, and they did a Caesar salad that they made. The, the dressing the right way with anchovy paste and raw egg and mixed it and you know the whole thing um and then they topped it off with three cornmeal crusted deep fried anchovies placed across the salad so good Hello. yeah so yummy like the best either salad ever and croutons i mean they had the the, the the crispy the crispy anchovies but those were the feature the crispy anchovies were the feature the croutons were they were good croutons they were amazing they were made there of course but see i can't anchovies. do I make my own crouton sometimes. Oh, gluten free. Or make my own stuffing with. Until I found this company that I really like their stuffing, I used to make my own cubes for cru for stuffing. Now, when did you find out that you had this allergy? How old were you? At a party. Oh wow. I was at a party about mm, 15, 14 years ago, and all of a sudden my stomach got really hot. I'm like, hey, everybody, this is some party. Party, 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 and all of a sudden I went, "What's happening?" Like alien, alien invaded me, and I and I got really hot, and my stomach got super itchy, and I went in the bathroom at the party, and I looked at my belly, and it was covered in hives, like my wow. whole front into my back, my waist was covered in hives. Wow, and. Then they went away the next day and I went to yoga with my friend Grace and I told her what was happening. And then she goes, yeah, I see it on your arm. And then it would mm. be my arms or my legs, but then it started to get into my, on my face. I'd be on stage and Mitch would go, like get off. And I'd, I'd walk over and he goes, go look in the mirror. And one time I looked in the mirror and I had this lump on my forehead not like my whole forehead but just like this egg on my forehead or it would be this side or my eye all. Wow. and my mom and lisa everybody would be, every morning they'd see me they'd be like good morning and i'd be like whoa ooh, ooh, ooh. and then it would itch and i would sometimes scratch it and if, even if i didn't they would become bruises big Jeez, bruises. Man. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. 
months and I had tests and I had, I went to doctors, I went to, I lived in Berkeley, so I went to Santeria High Priestess who killed a chicken and I threw a watermelon into the ocean and I stood on my head and I did all this stuff and I took drugs and I took doctors and I took thousands of dollars worth of blood tests. Nobody could figure it out. And I was on prednisone for months. I was like superwoman. Yes, sure, I can do that for you. Of course, yeah. Right, of course. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, I can do it. Yeah, I, I, and nothing. I had no symptoms and I would be drinking up um, children's Benadryl, like. Oh my God. And I would go off of it and they'd come right back. And, and you were still, you were eating gluten and you didn't really realize, you didn't I know. Was eating, I'd eat water. I'd drink, I'm that, one doctor thought I was allergic to water. Doctors would come in the room, they'd be like. Wow. And I'd be like, I don't want my. And um, so long story short, I was at a gig in Ukiah up at Lisa's and it started happening on stage. Mm. And this guy came up to me and he said, are you okay? And I'm like, why do you, what makes you ask me that? And he goes, you need to go see my guy tomorrow. I'll pay for you to go see him. So I go to this guy, his name is Dr. Lee Vaught. I go in his office and I had been through a year of not knowing what it was. Yeah, you're allergic to mold and you're allergic to cats and you're allergic- And Lee has been on the show before, right? He has not, no. He, no, that would be cool. Uh, that was Leon Lashner. Oh, okay, okay. Dr. Leon Lashner, who is the, he wrote a book, Yo Cab, Yo Taxi. And now this cat was a ranger in the army and then trained rangers, then became a chiropractor, then de developed this healing technique that I've, I, I've done every kind of healing modality that there is. And this guy was like, I'm like, like I went in his office, he turned the lights off and I'm going. Uh-oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, a, that's a little creepy. Probably a little freaked out, right? And I'm like, uh, anyway. More than a little. Series of tests and figures out exactly what I'm allergic to. And I said, but all I've eaten this week is honeydew. And he goes, well, honeydew has a histamine reaction to wheat, same histamine levels. And when your histamine levels are so off the charts, you can drink Anything. water and get hives. So. And it just it, happened. It was just 15 years ago, boom, out of the blue. Or well, had you already had a little something? No. Then I started study. I started researching. Ah. And and really did research. And and I've talked to doctors since. And I've read more articles about it. And probably could write a book about it. But most people that are that have adult onset allergies, the majority, mm -hmm. and celiac in particular. Wait, let me put my glasses on. I might look, people might take me more seriously if I do. Oh, wow. Okay. Now I know what you're talking about. If you, if you become celiac, trace it back to where you first started noticing symptoms or look at your life and see if something traumatic happened after, before you, be, mm -hmm. you were diagnosed. In my case, my brother had had brain surgery gone wrong right. and was in a coma. Mm -hmm. And prior to that, I was held up in Oakland. And it was like, like, you know, and then you read about other people. Oh, I had just gotten divorced. My husband just died. My son, my daughter, my dog, my life. I did, but bop. So Trace these highly out. fraught emotional stressors yeah. can bring on the physical histamine. Sure. Oh, wow. for sure. No question. And, I mean, that makes sense. It makes sense. It's just like, you don't, you don't ordinarily put those two things together. You know, it's, it's like, it's gotta be physical. It's gotta, it's, you know, it's not, it can't be stress. It's like, yeah, it's stress. I mean, it's funny, just in a, in a minor way, I've been monitoring my blood pressure. I have a sphygmometer at home and uh, I've been monitoring my blood pressure. And when I'm sitting here at home, you know, at the dining room table, and I take my blood pressure. Sometimes it's a little high, but lately it's been like, you know, and I've been eating better and I've been 
I haven't been walking enough. Well, I walk at work, but I need to like, I need to get back on my bicycle and start walk, uh, riding again. But you know. But while you're walking at work, do you know how many steps you take in a night? Oh, I have no idea. I don't have a thing. I need, I should probably get a thing or do yeah, put what a kind of phone. Do you, you don't have a, an iPhone. I don't have an iPhone, but I have, I think there's probably, I'm, I'm sure there's an app it. for. I'm sure yeah, it's all for, built into the phone. Yeah, I just have to find it. Um, but you know, taking my blood pressure here, it's been the last few times, last like five, six times, it's been totally normal, totally normal ranges, you know, 120 over 74, 121 over 84, I'm great. 120 yes, over 74, you have pretty low blood pressure. Yeah, but you know, it's like but 90 then. 90 over 60. 90 over 60? You can do really low, yeah. Is that you? Are you, go, are you okay? Yeah, exactly. But my, you know, then then I'll be in the 142 over 90 range, you know, so which is borderline hypertension. Yesterday, because I was at the clinic getting tested for COVID, 158 over 94. I was like, Lord, am I alive? What happened? And they said, you know what? It's probably stress. But and also their sphygmometer was, this is a clinic that I don't usually go to because it was specifically for testing. And their sphygmometer was funny, like popped off my arm the first time. And then the nurse held it on my arm when she did it the second. I was like, Okay, I'm I'm mistrusting this this blood pressure a little bit, um, but yeah, it's amazing how. Is it a cuff or is it a is it a wrist or a cuff? It's a cuff. Okay, because yeah. I've done research, and they say that the, the the cuff is much better than the wrist. Ah, yeah. Now we have we have a cuff because Snowy has high blood pressure, so fr friends of ours got us a cuff for measuring. Oh, that's she, sweet. We have really yeah. nice friends. We do have really nice friends. We have super nice friends. They like, I have really nice friends too. They do. Oh, play. I know you. I met a couple of them. Yeah, you did. You met at yeah. least nine of them. I did. I met a bunch of them. Or eight of How's them. How's Michael? Have you talked to Michael lately? Michael Peltz. Michael Peltz, yeah. I talked to him the other day, briefly. He was just getting a new iPhone and like was all discombobulated. You know how when you get a and you're like, I don't know if it's going to happen and this is going to do. And yeah. Right. And it's always like, well, you, it's it, it happens less now. But when I was, when, you know, in the earlier iterations of phones, you get a new phone and like half of your contacts would be in there and right. none of your pictures. And they'd be in backwards. Yeah. And they'd be in backwards. And you're like, this last time, everything transferred except for the picture. So we had to do a wired transfer with my phone for some reason. Mine was a, was a Google Pixel, my old phone. And for some reason, it didn't want to transfer to the new phone. So he did a wire transfer. So then all of my pictures just sort of went, bloop, bloop, and they're all over the place. I mean, they sort of, they're sort of in, in order, but it's kind of like when I'm, if I'm looking for something, it's like, oh, this happened before that. Oh, uh, wait, what? What is this doing here? So it's strange. It is strange, okay. I say. Do you have anything fun in the tasting? I'm glad you asked. It, it's something that would make you horribly ill, but it's delicious. Um, Oh my God, what is that? And it looks like an alien. Uh, yeah, it, this, it looks like a UFO. This is what from- that I would from just Mexico. dive into. This is from the Mexican market, from Vallarta. And it is an empanada de calabaza. It's a huge empanada. Or for those of you who don't speak Spanish, it's a pumpkin turnover. <laughs> it's a pumpkin pie. So let's try it. And the thing that it's I like- you know, a, a lot pumpkin of pumpkin pie pumpkin pie i'll just you know what i'm gonna pick it up just take a bite of it a lot of these have like they're crusted with sugar or you know they have a ton of stuff but the pumpkin ones they don't they don't put a ton of sugar on the pumpkin ones and there is a spice in the in the dough and i think it might be anise or something it's a you know a, a seed of some sort but let's see mm. doughy at all dough doughy bready here let me um. let me work Tear it open. There we go. There's pumpkin. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm, that's really doughy. Remember, Mark Zuckerberg loves the wows, everybody. Wow. Oh, I forgot. Wow. Everybody, wow. Yeah. Well, we have a peak theme going on because I'm having a Michigan peach. Nice. Mm. I was just going to uh, bite into it, but I think I'll be a the little. Pumpkin more. filling is delicious. It's not this. I like these in particular because they're not super sweet. They're more bready. Do you feed them? I could. I didn't. I just let it sit out room temperature. Uh, mm. 
It's good. Tastes like there's some nutmeg and some cinnamon in the pumpkin. You know, pumpkin spice, actually. One might. You know, that's a great idea. I wish I should come up with something that pumpkin spice. I wonder if everybody's in a, anybody's ever done that. A pumpkin spice what? Anything. Pumpkin spice, you know, sunscreen. Pumpkin spice, car lube. Pumpkin's really good for your skin. Oh, makes sense. It's a good exfoliant. But like. Not pie, pie filling, but regular canned pureed pumpkin. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. You put it on the outside like a mask. Yeah. I didn't know that. Well, it's great for your skin if you ingest it also. Mm -hmm. Um, are you a pumpkin spice person? Do you like celebrate the return of pumpkin spice everything? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it's weird to me. That belongs way too early. Well, and also, but I mean, the whole pumpkin spice craze is right. in a category for me with ranch dressing. It's like pumpkin spice, ranch dressing. It's like, what's the deal? I mean, it's fine. It's great, but. Yeah, could I have some extra ranch? And I'm like, for what? Yeah, for what? My, my, dip my pizza in it. What? Yeah. What, what is the matter? Your pizza in ranch? I know. I mean, I've seen it. I've done it once. I was like, okay, I can kind of see what the attraction is, but not for me. Um, yeah, we have, we have people who, you know, they order fish and chips, side ranch. It's like, why? We make our own, yeah, we make our own malt vinegar tartar sauce that's delicious. Side of ranch with fish and chips? Yeah. That's like somebody ordering a, a well done steak frites. I'm like, really? Come on. You're really going to do that? Okay, fine. What does that mean? Oh, like a burned steak? Yeah. I mean, some people like that. Some people, you know, no pink in my burger. It's like, oh, okay, fine. I was taught from a very early age by Arturo G. Ortega that medium rare is the temperature that you want. What is going on, kitty? <laughs> what was that? It sounded like the sky was falling. And the kitty's knocking. I have uh, my old New Mexico license plates out on the balcony, and the kitty knocks them down with fair, with fair regularity. She's been going out on the balcony. Fair regularity. Yes, fair. I don't know. I suddenly became, you know, like I came from Cambridge. She knocks them down with fair regularity, you know. That, that darn kitty. Hey, come here. Hi, Snowy. You're, you're ready now, right? She told me, oh, I'm not, I'm not camera ready. I can't come on now. She showered. She's camera ready. Hello. What's happening? <laughs> How you doing? I'm eating a Michigan peach that I picked. Very cool. Mm -hmm. I mean, a bump of turnover that I bought. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that sounds good. What have you had today, Snowy? I have nothing yet. Just a cup of coffee. I haven't moved towards food yet. She doesn't eat breakfast unless somebody makes it for her. Mm. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> Either I make breakfast for her, or I she's on it. set and they have you know breakfast. <laughs> And you're off this week, or you've been off this week? I've been off this week, yeah. Yeah, I've been stuff all week. It's just been, it went so quickly, the week off. It did. <laughs> no. It did. But and yeah. what, you wear, a, a like, you get a full-on costume, right? No, no, I'm just in very casual clothes. And mm. uh, I just have to be able to move or climb if I have to, because I'm standing in for a 15-year-old superhero. <laughs> So mostly sneakers and just just casual clothes. And the superhero doesn't have the superhero just wears casual clothes. No, she goes in and out of different things, but I don't, I'm only there for rehearsal purposes. Camera camera blocking and make sure you know. And then there's stunts. There are stunt uh, each, each actor has a stand-in and a stunt person. Hmm. You don't do the stunts. I don't do the stunts. No. I stand there so camera can see where that stunt's going to happen. <laughs> many, many years ago, what, like 15, 20 years ago, a friend of ours or an acquaintance of ours who was a stunt person, stunt person, see, former gymnast, um, mentioned to Snowy, hey, you're very fit. You should, you know, maybe think about doing stunts. And for a hot second, you thought about it. I was, I was thinking about it. And then he, the reality check was, he says, honey, you don't have a very high threshold for pain. 
<laughs> you know, I've you're a couple of stunt people and man, their lives are, well, I have one friend, she's, she's younger and she was pretty successful and now she's a yoga instructor because she's like, she's yeah. like killing her body. Yeah. Oh yeah. No, I mean, you know, it's like you see somebody falling off a three-story building, they're doing that. They're, they're doing the fall, but they're, you know, falling onto a big pad, but still you can yeah, hurt yourself doing somebody that. Gotta do Someone's got to do that. Or, you know, you're flipping a car. We know a, a friend of a friend is a... An acquaintance or a friend? Um, he's an This guy is a, a, an acquaintance. An acquaintance, a, a, an acquaintance through a friend. <laughs> My husband and his details. A, 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 <laughs> just say, I know a guy, but nope. A fellow with whom I have a peripheral relationship. Yeah, that's um, what you get. <laughs> <laughs> well, he is an Ortega. Yeah, true. Uh, we are yeah. all very precise. Words are the thing. Words are the deal. So this guy builds cars for, he built stunt cars for movies. He's done, you know, built some of the Fast and Furious cars. And his girlfriend, who is from New Zealand but lives in London, is a stunt driver. She's a female stunt woman, stunt driver. And she's tall and blonde and has stood in for bunches of people. You know, I think she did some of the driving in Fury Road. Um, and that, you know, for um, South African actress whose name escapes me right now. Um, but yeah, and she's told some crazy stories about flipping cars or driving cars off of cliffs. And it's, you know, it sounds fun, but also just like <laughs> scary, scary, yeah. super dangerous. Are you, are you two given the opportunity? Would you jump out of an airplane? I would. Mm, there was year, years ago I wanted to, not so sure I want to anymore. Kathy Jones did it. I know, I saw it. For her 60th. Uh, I saw Friend it. Friend of ours did it for her 60th birthday. Yeah. The, the tandem. The tandem Joe. The tan, yeah. And she's she's, she's the twin, so I think she and her twin. Angle, you know? Or my <laughs> yeah, landing would be, you know. But the, the people are with you, they don't let you just do that, but I don't know. I'm sure you can still get it. it. Might be They'd fine. be like, move your leg, move your leg, move your leg. Ah! <laughs> That's why we were tandem. You were supposed to move your leg. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't, well. know. I, don't, I don't know if I do that. Yeah, yet. I would imagine that there is so much going on while you're doing it. It would be tough to pay attention to direction. <laughs> like, yeah. You know? Yeah. There's a lot going on. Yeah, I, 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 I thought about it for a while, and now I might might not do it. I wouldn't walk on that clear part of at, at, at the Grand Canyon. They've done that new area where you can walk that. out. And look, it's no, I, I can't do that. So I'm not trying to jump out of a Oh, place. I would do that. I have done that. <laughs> I, I have, have you ever been to um, what's by the Grand Canyon that I like to go to, Mama? Hello. Wow. Just that yeah. really cool place that everybody likes, wants to go to in Arizona. Sed uh, Sedona? Sedona. I spent mm -hmm. a lot of time in Sedona and I walked out on what's called the Devil's Bridge. Yes, yes. And I crawled out there. Really? I I've never been to Sedona. And I stood up I, and I was like, oh. Yeah, I didn't go all the way. I went, I went to a lower ledge. We went on this hike and then you laid out to meditate, you know, on yeah. the big red rock with all the sky around you. And I woke up and um, I fell asleep, of course, in the meditation. So I woke up and everyone is looking at me and I'm like, yeah, I fell asleep. And they were laughing because apparently hummingbirds took a liking to me while I was sleeping there. Funny. And they were just flying all around me the whole time I was asleep and everyone was laughing at it. And I was like, huh? <laughs> That's a good sign. Hummingbirds like you. I've always wanted to fall asleep in meditation, but I'm too, I'm listening to everything. Uh, yoga got embarrassing for me because the relaxation at the end, I would get a little too relaxed. <laughs> well, I mean, Snowy can fall asleep at the drop of a hat. She can fall asleep mid-sentence. Yeah, it's incredible. And come back to the conversation. And come back to the conversation <laughs> and make sense. It's like, okay, that's yes, fine. It's a beat, even during a dream. Yes, um, indeed. And, and it didn't just start. I can't even blame age. My mother would wake me up to send my dates home in high school. Because I couldn't go, couldn't go anywhere. They'd come to the house and sit and watch television, but I couldn't go out. With them. Well, like <laughs> the first time I came to your apartment, you fell asleep. Yeah, well, it, it's a thing I do. Yeah, first time. First, okay, we had met. We met because a friend of hers and I did a show together. I love to. I know. And then 
And then we didn't see each other. Her friend wouldn't give me her phone number. So I didn't see her for a year. So then he, we, I did another show with this guy and saw her again and was chasing somebody else that night. Didn't get her phone number. And then we ran into each other at a Christmas party. And so then, you know, we hooked up. We were going to go to, uh, uh, I was going to go to her house the next night for their tree trimming, but I had to work. So I got there late. So, you know, I always like, afternoon. they had an afternoon tree trimming party. I got there around nine. They had been imbibing since, you know, noon when they got the tree. So that kind of explains it. But I got there, we were talking, we were talking, and- uh, uh, And I think I said, oh, my eyes are so tired. I think I'm just gonna lay back here for a moment and close my eyes. Ow. When I woke up the next morning, my roommate said, you owe Armando an apology. I'm like, oh, oh my you God. Like you didn't wake up. You I'm thinking, what sleep. did I do? She said, no, he was the last person to leave the party trying to wait for you to wake up. How long did you sit there and wait for her to wake up? I sat there and visited with a roommate for an hour, hour and a half. The roommate was interesting. We became friends. We became, we became friends with Charmaine. 25 years ago. 25 years ago. 20, no, 27 years ago. Yeah. This, this year is going to be our 20, 24th. 24th. Oh, four. Yeah, you got married in 97. 24. Yeah, so 24 years. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't know that story. That's really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I fell asleep the first night I really hung out with you. I mean, yeah. I to say that they fall asleep when things are, they're doing things, but that's. No. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing that I was like, oh, this has potential. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's going to ask really her somewhere. Tomorrow. Maybe yeah. I'll ask her out for breakfast. Yeah, right, right. Maybe I'll ask her out. Yeah. I called and left an apology because I knew he was leaving for New Mexico the next morning. So I called and left a message. I am so sorry. When you come he back, was maybe we can sleeping because he wait, stayed up and waited for you. Waiting for me, right? So when you get back, we'll get together. And we did. <laughs> like that weekend, the weekend that I got back. And you've been together for how many years? You've known each other for how many? We've years? known each other for twenty-seven years. Yeah. Yeah which is like mind boggling because yeah. it doesn't feel like that long. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, it just doesn't. And I was talking to a friend, a friend of ours. It does. Is... <laughs> Thanks. It's been good, but it's been long. You, Snowy, do you always fall asleep first? Generally. Yeah. yeah she's generally asleep by 930 on I the take couch. A nap. I take a nap about nine. Then I'm up from like 1030 to 12 or 1. She's seen three quarters of the greatest movies ever. Shut up. <laughs> I do that too. I used to, I, I would watch movies and my boyfriend would go, good night. Like right at the beginning, good night. <laughs> yeah, I do that too. <laughs> night, night, stay awake. She's like, I don't mind, stay awake. Yeah, no. Yeah. She stayed awake for Sinister for the, for the scary movie the other night. What did we watch, Mama? We, we just watched something. We really liked it. It's a really sad movie with Hilary Swank. Oh, hmm. she's yeah. great. An older one or newer one? It's about five years old and she has MS. Oh, wow. And the woman that's in it, I have to, I want to Google it now because I want to see if you know if she's a friend or an acquaintance of yours. Hilary Swank, hottie, hottie McCotterton. Um, true major crush. Um, MS movie, she has MS in the movie, and it's called You're Not You. Oh, I never heard of it, and it stars. What is her name? No, not her. Wait a second. Da 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 da. da. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I know I just cracked myself up doing that. What's the name? <laughs> yeah, what's that tune? Seems familiar. So people say that to me. They're like, "Oh my God, I was singing 1111 at work today." I know. <laughs> yeah, it happens to me too. Really. <laughs> Emmy Rossum. I know who she is. I know who she is. We don't know, know her. She yeah. She works a lot. She's 
she is and I need to this is a total compliment but um Emmy Rossum and in this film yeah she's a singer songwriter she reminds me so much of Gina Melita it freaks me out oh wow you know okay. chef Gina that comes on the show yeah, yeah. she and in this movie I'm just like going that's I'm sh I, I I have I'm gonna text her today and say do people tell you that they remind you that I mean, I mean, so much. They're like the same person. It's drip. Really? Wow. I mean, oh. Ross, it's probably not like that at all. What? I'm going to get a pen and paper because I need to write down those dates, the important dates, the oh. dates of the south of the thousandth, 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 One thousandth show and 1111th show. 1111th. I cannot say thousandth. Thousand. Okay. Can't thousand. say that. Can you say thousand? Anesthetus. Yeah. It's because I have. It's because I have a lisp. Okay, the thousandth show is what date? September thirtieth. So nine thirty, twenty one, and then the one thousand one hundred and eleventh show is one hundred eleven days after that. November twenty fourth. Yeah, it took it took about six people to figure that one out. People were like, wait a minute. Okay, so that's so uh, October thirty one and. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's you know, it's the Julian calendar that messes us up. Totally. Emmy Rossum. Is Emmy Rossum. Rossum. Yeah. So Snowy Snowy has escaped. Okay. <laughs> she, she took well, advantage of, both, of the paper. We should both escape anyway. But yeah, why well, should go any, to? If there's any um way you could get on Sunday night for poetry glam, I would. I think. I I think I can. Sundays are usually slowish, although it's totally unpredictable now because school is starting. School is starting in Pasadena and South Pasadena, so last night was super slow. And then next week, LAUSD starts. Ugh, I just I can't. Don't even get me started. <laughs> I I don't even want to go in go there. It sounds yes. awful, whatever that means. Well, just school starting. I mean, I understand yeah. students need to get back to school, and people do emotionally better being with their peers. But, you know, uh, Delta variant is fine being home. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I'm OK with my five hour a, or three hour a, a night job where I'm masked and I know my place. And it's funny, my quick thing, my boss said, hey, look, somebody just asked me about uh, references for a GM job for a corporate barbecue place. I'm loath to tell you about this because I don't want you to leave, but I'd feel bad if I did. Are you interested in that? And I was like, no. Nah. No, I have no desire to be in that kind of rat race. And I don't want to be that, I want to have that kind of exposure, you know, quite yeah. honestly. Right. Plus, I'm super comfortable at Fox's and I love being there and I love the food and it we feels like Fox's. family. Fox's Only is, Fox's. I plan on visiting Fox's one of these days. I hope so. I would love to see you there. My glasses. I would love to have you at my table. So, Jenna, let's not forget. <laughs> You're the one, Jenna. <laughs> and I love you. I love you too, Mondo. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you have you. a great weekend. Thank you for for. I know this is you know th this is taking time, and I appreciate you taking and making the time to do this every week and intentionally getting something fun to eat and sharing it with us. And it's really it's it's it means a lot to me. It does it not go unnoticed means a lot to me too. I look forward to it. This is like, you know, like, okay, I get to be on the Jenna show tomorrow. <laughs> I'm always excited about it. Thursday night, it's like, oh shit, pie. What am I going to do? Where am I going to stop? Um, Share it on your page. I Share will. The show. Share and there's another Cuban bakery where I want to get stuff from because their stuff's great. Cuban bakery. Maybe next week we do Cuban bakery. All Gracie. right. Gracie's Have a on. lovely weekend. I'm going to try to, t you're going to live stream your shows? Probably. Okay, so. I will. I will. I will look in and see if I can see them. Peace and love, everybody. Bye, Jenna. Bye. Oh, wait. Thanks, Hold Snowy. Oh, I can't leave. There we go. I'm trying to leave. Oh, I was gonna ask for a letter. Anyway, look at everything's kind of blurry back there. Am I blurry? No, you can see everything. Everything. <clears throat> so I made the show public. 
I'm waiting for a letter. Anybody want to give me a letter? Give me a letter now. Give me a letter. Wow. Give me a letter so I can sing a little better for you today. It is Friday and we are here on 11-11. Bring us cheer. So please stay safe, stay healthy and be real nice. And I will think for a second, maybe once or twice. It's Friday morning, actually. It's Friday afternoon on the East Coast, thank you more and i know that everything is in store so here no letter and i hope it just gets better for all of you from the heart thoughts words and soul happy day to you I will see you once or twice, hopefully sooner than that, like Patty on Sunday. From your thoughts, I wish peaceful thoughts, proud and words, a powerful heart, and a soulful soul. Mama Grace, I'll see you in a minute. Everybody else, I'll see you soon, tonight. Display and share tomorrow. One more Saturday morning with Jeff Metzger. One more Saturday night with Gary Lambert tomorrow night. And Sunday morning, Alex Martinez. Sunday night, Poetry Glam with gigs in between. Thanks, Mondo. Thanks, Snowy. Love hard. Really, 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 really hard.